Repair This is just going to be a little quick guide on just how to install and set up Yapped Room Bear. Um, I've had a number of people ask, and so I figured I might as well just make a video for it. Um, there are two things I would recommend doing um, in using Yapped or a Param Editor, and that would honestly be downloading Mod Engine. And then once that's downloaded and extracted and all that, you have your little mod folder there, I would really recommend going into your game directory, copying the regulation bin from there, and then pasting it into the mod folder so that any changes you make um, are done to the copied version. And so that way, if you need to restore anything, your one that's in the game directory is left alone because um, mod engine will load things from mod engine primarily and then fill in the blanks with the game directory effectively so do that um, and then once you've done that you can download yeah room bear it's up to 2.0 now um, just download it extract it into its own folder um, once you have that done you can just go in and then run the executable there i'm just going to let it open it takes a second sometimes um, if it is your first time using Gapt or, or on a new project or something like that, you're going to have to go to File right here, go to the drop down menu, select Elden Ring if you're using Elden Ring, or select whatever is applicable, um, and then go to Open, and then you're going to want to navigate to the regulation bin that you made a copy of, the copied version that's in your mod folder. So, as you can see, this is it, so we're just going to click open on it or not really because it's already open right here um, but that'll load this up for you um, if it's your first time this may be blank or missing a lot of information to fill that in you would go to data and then click import stock row names um, and then it will fill in as much of the blanks as are available to you um, at the time or version of the build of, of Yapt. Um, but that's how you set up Yapt. If, uh, if you ever want to use it for modifying parameters or anything like that, that is how that works. Um, I will make a quick follow-up video right after this on how to merge regulation bins, but I figured I may as well just keep those things separate. So, I will catch you later.